dear students welcome to my channel elite maths classes and today's topic is introduction to trigonometry which is included in class 10 syllabus and this is actually the first introduction of trigonometry and this is a very important chapter in exam point of view you will get approximately 10 to 12 marks in your board exam definitely will be there and if you choose science stream and uh, take maths as one of the subjects then it is the very important part of class 11 12 mathematics because all the formulas of uh, trigonometry you have to use in the whole math syllabus of class 11 12 okay so let's start now see introduction to trigonometry class 10 syllabus now first see that how the trigonometry name came see here tree try try means three these are some latin words gonia means angles and metric means measures so from these three words the word trigonometry was introduced that is the measure of three angles and now see in your uh, class 9 syllabus geometry is there in geometry what is the uh, what is the figure plane figure consisting of three angles definitely it is a triangle so all the trigonometry concept based on a triangle and particularly it is related to right angle triangle now see what basic concept we required to uh, study trigonometry some basic concepts this one it is also known fact it is uh, there in class 9 syllabus what is this it is pythagoras theorem pythagoras theorem you have to use in every part of trigonometry now what was Pythagoras theorem? Pythagoras theorem was hypotenuse square equal to perpendicular square plus base square. Perpendicular square plus base square. Now see this right angle triangle. Let ABC be a right angle triangle. We know that the side opposite to the right angle is the hypotenuse. Now this is not written. So definitely the up to these sides one will be perpendicular and one will be base you can take any one this one can be perpendicular and this one also can be perpendicular so this point i am coming later now see some new things you will have to use here what are these notations theta alpha beta gamma delta first one is theta alpha beta gamma delta these are actually used here as to denote the angles of the triangle for example you may denote this angle as theta or you may denote this angle as alpha now see the main concept or main introduction of trigonometry in a triangle now let us consider this triangle clearly it is a right angle triangle and angle b is the right angle now this one is hypotenuse in short you can write h let this be the perpendicular p denoting by p and this be the base denoted by b now if you measure these sides then this side it is a value this is a value this is a value and all the values are positive here we can consider three ratios now what is the ratios so this side is 5 centimeter this is 3 centimeter this is 5 centimeter then you can take the ratio of these sides now see the ratios first one you can take perpendicular by hypotenuse that is measure of these sides to the measure of this side second ratio you can take b by h that is bc by sc third ratio you can take perpendicular by base now see as you can take perpendicular by hypotenuse then you can also take the reciprocal relation reciprocal ratio hypotenuse by perpendicular hypotenuse by base and base by perpendicular these are reciprocal ratios and these are main ratios so ultimately here we are getting six different ratios mean three ratios and three the reciprocal of the first ratios so basically we are having three main ratios perpendicular by hypotenuse base by hypotenuse perpendicular by base from these ratios actually 
three different trigonometrical ratios which are called here is the first introduction of trigonometry for these ratios three different trigonometrical ratios are defined and for these three another three trigonometrical ratios are defined so ultimately we are having six different trigonometrical ratios now see the names and uh, let us see this in a table format now see this table here all the six ratios are written one by one you see first one is sine ratio is perpendicular by hypotenuse this ratio is named as sine and this is the short form sin and second ratio is base by hypotenuse base by hypotenuse is called cosine cosine of angle i am coming to that word next third ratio is perpendicular by base it is called tangent in short it is written as tan then see the last three ratios perpendicular uh, base by perpendicular this is reciprocal of this one this is perpendicular by base perpendicular by base is tangent so base by perpendicular is reciprocal of this this is called cotangent in short it is written as cot now see hypotenuse by base this is reciprocal of cos or cosine and this is called second third one is reciprocal of perpendicular by hypotenuse this is called cosecant and in short it is written as cosec now regarding perpendicular base and hypotenuse which side hypotenuse is fixed in every triangle in every right triangle the side opposite to 90 degree this is hypotenuse so let us take another right triangle similar to this one say it is p q r it is right angle so this one is hypotenuse now the question is which uh, of the two sides which one is perpendicular which one is base as it is a right angle triangle so see that this one is 90 this angle is 90 so sum of the other two as the sum of three angles is 180 degree so sum of other two is 90 so definitely each of them is an acute angle let this angle is theta that is any angle denoted by theta alpha or you may write capital a b c etc also so let this angle is theta and here we take this angle as the theta that is out of these two acute angles we have to consider any one of them let in this triangle angle c is the theta and in this triangle angle p is the theta then remember this is a very important concept then remember the side opposite to the angle in consideration it will be perpendicular or in short you may write p also so perpendicular and the side adjacent to theta it will be taken as base now see in this figure this one is theta that is we are considering this angle so this side that is opposite to theta will be perpendicular and the adjacent side to the angle theta will be the base so remember that not necessarily in any right angle triangle the horizontal line will be the base it may it may be the perpendicular also depending upon the angle which are we are considering so here in this triangle see that say we are considering sine of the angle sine of the angle now remember what was sine sine is the ratio of perpendicular by hypotenuse so sine theta equal to it will be what is perpendicular perpendicular by hypotenuse this is equal to perpendicular means the side a b by a c say we are writing cos theta cos theta and in this triangle it will be in this triangle it will be perpendicular by hypotenuse also equal to now here see the perpendicular is q r q r by p r <coughs> now for cos theta cos theta what was the formula base by hypotenuse now what which one is base it is b c b c by a c and in this triangle same base by hypotenuse but here base is pq 
by PC etc. Now see what will be cosec theta see that table cosec theta cosec theta is the reciprocal of sin theta reciprocal of this ratio that is hypotenuse by perpendicular so this will be which one is hypotenuse SC by perpendicular means AB so this is the first concept first introduction to trigonometry you must have to memorize these things sin theta ratio of sin cos tan cos sec cosec and also the Pythagoras theorem you which already you know now in the second part we will see more relation and more formulas first you memorize this so first thing trigonometry it is defined on a right angle triangle and the there are six trigonometrical ratios basically three and other three are reciprocal of the first three relations so first memorize this and wait for the second video in the second video i will discuss the rest part of the trigonometry of this syllabus class 10 syllabus okay thank you very much